Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Tuesday, May 27th, 2014. Well, okay, last Friday I did not have internet service until nearly noon, or maybe it was a little bit after that, so was not able to publish a video. And then yesterday in the U.S. was a holiday, Memorial Day, where we honor those who have fallen in battle and, you know, um, just anybody that you miss that may have passed away. So today is a fresh day and the weekend was very busy for me so I was unable to compile my results from last week but I can tell you they are not going to be pretty and this week might be um, a little ugly itself too. So, uh, on tap for today for scheduled announcements that may be market affecting. We have durable good orders at 8.30, the Case Schiller Home Index, uh, index, <laughs> Home Price Index, I should say, at 9 o'clock, and Consumer Confidence at 10, and then Dallas Fed Manufacturing Survey at 10.30. The announcements from Friday and Thursday were some good and some bad, but I think for the most part I think that um, they were positive. Okay, uh, looking across the ponds over in Asia, uh, pretty red across the board except for one, the Nikkei Index, and in Europe uh, pretty much green across the board, except for the CAC 40. Okay, enough with that. Let's take a look at what's going on over here in the U.S. We have uh, the Dow, the S&P, uh, NASDAQ, and the Russell 2000 all looking positive, pretty solidly bearish this morning. And of note, of course, is the ES that broke through the 1900. Uh, I guess you might say psychological resistance level. And we're going to take a look at a chart on that. Here we have it. Um, it's solid, pretty solid through there today. It opened a little bit lower, quite a bit lower than... Uh, the close on Friday, or was this Monday? This was Monday, yeah. Uh, we did pop above it. And so this is Monday, this is today. Um, so we're above that 1900 level. And if we can maintain that, I would say that we are in another, in a renewed bull run. And I think it's probably going to be a pretty big one is is what I'm thinking especially when I take a look at what gold is doing right now um, being down I guess you could say pretty solidly below the 1300 level which is the one that we have been keeping an eye on lately and silver is uh, pretty low too. Oil is at 104 which is kind of high so I'm just thinking that you know overall I think uh, for the short term anyway for the next maybe month I don't know the sell in May and go away did not work out this year I would say overall so that um, traditional thought is no longer valid so that's where we're at. Um, wouldn't do any good right now to review last week, but let's take a look at our current account. Uh, we have a lot of negative delta here, and it's hurting us over here on the NDX and the Russell. So the NASDAQ and the Russell are hurting us. We're probably going to bail on them today. We'll take a look at the charts and see what we might want to do. So we can start right off with the um, 
A plus list. Five minutes into the recording here. It's sort of early, I guess you could say. We'll start out with Apple, as we always do. Apple, a uh, new recent high. This is a one-year chart, so over the last year, 614 is a new high for Apple. That's what that little bubble up there is telling us. So do we have a trade? No. Or do we have an entry? No, we do not. We have the 7 to 1 split, and I think it's really trying to get up to $700 for this 7 to 1 split. Um, I'll just bet you anything that it could very well be up there. If you want to throw some money after this at it with a bad, potentially bad entry point, yeah, go ahead. Do your thing. But for my trading, I'm waiting for it to come down here and give me an entry. It's just a higher probability. That's all there is to it. Okay, and next on the list is Amazon. Amazon, uh, he got an email about um, stocks that are in were in a strong trend and seem to be reversing that trend. So here's an example where Apple has been in a pretty, or I mean, uh, Amazon has been in a pretty strong downtrend. But if we take a look, we're looking at the 50 SMA, but if we look at the 50 EMA we get some hints of possibly a reversal in this trend. And another thing that is sort of telling too is that um, we didn't get an entry here. We did for the, you know, for the first day. At the end of this day, you got an entry for a bear call, but um, it would not, you know, it wouldn't be working out very well right now because we have this just this little turn here and I'm starting to rely on trend reversal indications on the EMA or the exponential moving average for the 50 period here so that's uh, kinda where I'm hanging my hat right now and look at where it's going to open today or at least it may open today it's currently trading way up here at 314 so that's um, sort of an indication of uh, at least caution. Okay, so, but uh, we do not have an entry there, and quite possibly our next potential entry could be down here with a um, bull put. All right, let's take a look at Boeing. We have a bull put in Boeing. And it's playing out pretty well. How much money we got riding on that? Only $144. Okay. Baidu. Um, quite possibly we have a trend reversal coming up on it. So I am going to also add a white target down here for a 50 delta trade. All right, sell gene. The hot potato. Okay, sell gene, I uh, believe, is reversing its trend here. So we're now looking for a um, bull put on it in addition to this 20 delta here. And I'm not feeling real comfortable about doing a 20 delta either, not when, not when it's crossed here. But time will tell. I'm not going to jump on anything today. And here we have Chipotle, which was in a downtrend, which appears to be possibly reversing itself here. Of course, we don't have an entry we got a uh, half entry here for a bear call but we don't have confirmation so this is a setup ladies and gentlemen 
I'm still calling this, I'm still calling this a bear call. Um, but we're just going to have to see if it's really going to reverse its trend and looking at the futures right now, it's probably going to continue to move up and we won't get an entry on it anyway. And we may change our mind tomorrow. Costco, we have a bear call on it. And this is a 20 delta trade that we've been in for a while. Got in back here. And it's working out pretty well. We have earnings here. So let's just take a look at this. We should have uh, data is not real heavy on here. And, and it's because the um, implied volatility is increasing as it nears its earnings announcement. So it's keeping this white line from moving up quicker to the red line. Because it does expire this week. So you would think that we would at least be at the 50% mark, but not. So IV is uh, fighting us on the profit side on this particular trade. We'll stay in it as long as we can up to earnings, which is the 29th before the market opens. And the 29th is... Wednesday, Wednesday, oh, Thursday, Thursday is the 29th, yeah, so, um, we'll keep an eye on that one, okay, back to, or over to CVX, CVX is behaving for now, um, and you can see that it expires even the week after Uh, Costco does and it's actually almost at its 50% point we have 200 bucks riding on it we're at 89 so we're pretty much pretty close to the 50% on that uh, anything new coming up well you know to not really it was too late now to condorize this this would have been a good spot to do a bear call to go against the bull put and make turn it into an iron condor. Uh, but we missed that opportunity. Okay, let's take a look at a chart on the Dow. Uh, this would have been a good entry here just for the whole market overall, but we don't trade DIA and there is no cash product available. I don't know why that is. It would be a nice one, I think, to trade. So, uh, just uh, going back here again, I'm sorry, and <laughs> moving on. Um, just looking at, there's going to be, the Dow had a new high back here. I mean, if we were to take a look at the futures on it, it would be show a new high, or at the actual index itself. And it pulled back a little bit from that, and now it's coming back up, and it looks like as though it's going to retest that. So I'd say 168 is a resistance point, and we'll see how that one works out. Okay, Igor. Um, we were able to get out of this on Friday for a little profit, so that's a good thing. I'm going to keep my drawings on here for a while. And the reason why I'm doing that, uh, especially for those uh, underlines that look like they might be going into a trend reversal that I open positions on, uh, I just want to make sure or, you know, be able to go back and say, well, you know, historically, all these worked out and some of these did not. And we can look at them that way. So I'm going to keep these drawings on here. Okay, FedEx. We got nothing going on with Igor, though, right? Look at it from that perspective. Um, yes, we did have a trade. We're in an uptrend. We're going to put a, um, another target here. And we'll wait for that one to come to us. FedEx. 
in an uptrend. Target down here. The earnings coming up next month. Oh, we come into earnings season again. Oh man, I get so tired of earnings seasons. <laughs> All right, uh, F5 networks. So far, we only have one set up for today. Uh, F5, I'm going to hold off on anything going with them because we just turned green on the 50 SMA and the EMA has been green for about a week. So we're going to just hang back on that one. Gold, I mean, I'm never going to be able to do this covered call. It stays down there. Google. This is the one that I got a question on where actually the price has broken through here. And I would say my next play, I'm changing this from yeah, a bear call to a bull put. And I'm relying on the um, exponential moving average to give me a preliminary indicator of a change in trend and we're flattening out here so I would have to say and Google's probably going to open up up here too so looking pretty good for a trend reversal there all right LinkedIn just been so good to us uh, it may be it's due for a trend change <laughs> And uh, that's where I think that that is happening too. So I'm looking here for a bear call or bull put, I mean, I'm sorry. So we're reversing our bias on LinkedIn to an uptrend. That would be the next move we would be looking for. And you know, it may prove us wrong. We have actually, to be truthful, this is an alertable trade right here. We have a little violation here, which is uh, disconcerting. I'm not going to put an alert on this because I got a couple of things here that are telling me this. We have a violation here on a stochastic. We don't like that little green mark in there. This, this is much cleaner. And this is what we trade off of, are these uh, nice clean cuts and reversals in the stochastic. Um, this one makes me a little bit nervous. And then we have the EMA turning green as well, which makes me want to stay out of this. And we have the MACD making sort of a powerful move uh, upwards with some positive momentum here. So I'm going to stay away from it from that perspective and I'm reversing my bias on LinkedIn. 3M. Okay, we got burnt on 3M last week. Uh, didn't quite give us what we were looking for. A little very weak here. Didn't follow the rules well enough. Um, a little bit late in this entry and actually on the day of entry uh, let's see what did I do wrong here day of entry too early because uh, let's go back here and analyze this now here is uh, the day before where we said, well, we might be sort of in a setup mode here. And then the day of entry, I got uh, green and green. But look at the time when I entered it. It was at noon. If I would have waited till the afternoon, I may have had a different opinion of it. I still would have been green. So 
let's see, if I would have waited till 3.30, would I have stayed out of it? Quite possibly. Don't know for sure, but quite possibly. All right, so now we have, we didn't get up here to, we didn't even get up to the 70, so we're staying away from it for now. Um, well, we'll just wait for another cycle on the stochastic here. All right, NDX, ouch. Uh, don't want to take a total loss on this. We have to be careful with these 20 deltas when they move against us. Here we are in a downtrend, and yeah, this is not a very clean entry here either. I think that I was uh, over anxious to trade, is what I would call this one. Very over anxious. So I deserve this one. Let's see if I can get out of it today. All right, next up is Netflix. Uh, yeah, I definitely would say that we have a trend reversal going on here, and we have a target, so we'll wait on that one. Price line, uh, I would say that we definitely have a trend reversal going on here. This one never gave us an entry, so I am changing my bias on this. So we're looking at uh, we may open a little bit, gap up a tad at the open on Priceline. And Russell, ouch, on Russell. Uh, I was going to get in on another account with this one here, but I uh, actually drew it in anticipating that the... Um, that the order would go through and of course it didn't because it just kept moving up during the day. Was this Friday or was it Thursday? I don't remember when it was that I put this in. Um, but anyway, we're uh, in a little bit of trouble on this one so we are going to close it quite possibly today unless something amazing happens and the market reverses. Uh, I think that this is green here on the exponential. So what happened here? Well, this was not a bad entry. Um, it was a very negative day when I entered this. Let's see here. It was the end of the day. It was a bad day. Uh, we got the red and red for a 20 delta. We were in a downtrend. Sometimes things like this happen. Now this was not, this was a good trade, a good entry. And it's just not working out. And part of the problem too is uh, we didn't really get, I mean for this being a 20 delta, this is uh, not a big spread in from, you know, our short strike to the current price. When I entered 1094, and we're at um, 1125, and it can move a lot quickly, so it wasn't all that really a great uh, 20 delta trade, at least from a short strike to current price perspective. But, you know, try to find a reason for having staying out of this? No. Um, from our indicator perspective, this is a good trade. All right, SPX, anything coming up on it? Uh, just have to throw in a little whitey down here. And wait for that one to come down and hit our target. TLT is probably doing just fine here. We had one expire last week. Um, this one expired last week. Totally in the money, or out of the money, I should say. 
and we're looking okay on this one for today as well so we're not going to worry about it uh, Tesla Tesla is going to open up they definitely are looking at this is a nice march here so we're looking for a change in bias on Tesla um, we'll wait for our opportunity UNP um, nice march going on with UMP here we have a stock split coming up here which will probably take it off of our uh, A plus list and a dividend 45 cents wow it's a big dividend for uh, what's going to be a hundred dollar stock well you know maybe if it keeps going it's probably pushing for 200 here before the stock split <laughs> just, just very similar to what's going on with Apple all right and then last but not least is Visa uh, that was a trade last week that didn't look real good let's take a look at it on the day that we entered well we have an exponential that was green here and we were banging up against this the 50 SMA and the EMA was green and it's really not going anywhere it's pretty dang flat from a price perspective but the entry was clean with uh, red and red and it was uh, around 3 or 3.30 in the afternoon which was a good thing and it just things changed they changed their mind overnight and we got fried and sometimes you get fried so what are we looking at now now we are looking for I am looking for a change in bias on Visa and it might be a 20 Delta we'll have to see if the price gets down there or if the stochastic gets down here and gives us a chance to take a look at what we would do maybe a 20 Delta all right, so uh, I hope to have uh, results compiled today, and we'll review them tomorrow for last week. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Have a great day, and happy trading.